You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul. And I'm Rob. And you're listening to another fantastic episode of Ask Drone You. Indeed, yes. I'm excited about today, Rob. I am too. Episode number 844 to be exact. I've thrown Why are you Rob excited? <laughs> Why are you excited? I'm having fun. Are you having fun? I'm having a lot of fun. I love doing this. This is cool. This is my favorite thing to do. It's fun. Yeah. I actually dread coming in here, but then once I'm doing it, I'm like, yes. Huh. Like most things. Dread coming. I'm a worrier. You don't, like, people don't know that. I really? worry about a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Will you worry about the podcast, though? Uh, well, I always wanted to grow. You yeah, know, I always want more. I always want more people. Yeah, I want the highest quality, value. best information. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, I that's, understand. I that's understand. why we're here. So awesome. Well, so we're going to talk about something. I don't think we've ever talked about this it's a very specific subject on very the show. Specific subject. What are we talking about? Well, we're going to talk about some mapping software that maybe a lot of folks out there haven't heard of. Thermography mapping. You know it. Yeah, very cool. Really excited. Um, if you're not familiar with thermography mapping, it's one of those things that you would need as a deliverable. If you were doing cell, or not, not cell phone tower inspections, if you were doing solar inspections, solar cell inspections, excuse me, it is a class that we uh, intend to teach at the end of this year, so um, you'll have more information about it. But today we're going to be talking about a couple of the different applications that you would need in order to produce those maps. And in order to, to produce a deliverable that you could actually sell to a client. In the Southwest, this is actually a uh, an, an industry ready for explosive growth. But I think very few people know to actually how to do the deliverable. Mm -hmm. We have a deliverable here with us. So guess what, guys? We're going to be showcasing you exactly what is in that deliverable. And by the way, I think this actually is, I mean, this isn't news. But there are things happening around certainly our country and perhaps the world relative to energy generation. And in our neck of the woods, the federal government has effectively forced a couple of major power plants to shut down in the next couple of years. Like Farmington? Yeah. Huh. Major power plants. That's where that, you're from. Most people don't know. That's where Rob's from. Yeah. And so these are power plants that power much of Arizona, California. New Mexico. New Mexico. By the way, Farmington has done a really good job, and they actually use the river to power Farmington itself. That's cool. Which So this doesn't affect the hydro power electric. as much. Yeah, they've been using hydroelectric for a long time. But one of the things they're talking about to sort of I don't think you could do that with the Rio Grande. <laughs> no, certainly not right now. But one of the things they're talking about is a lot more solar. And, of course, we're talking about just thousands and thousands of acres of solar to actually generate enough power to make up for these being gone. So point being, I suppose there might be a lot more solar power being created out there at least. Well, I mean, That's the, the city of Las Vegas was the first city to go completely solar. So and they have a lot of room out there, obviously, mm -hmm. to put solar panels. So, All, But they also have other problems with those plants. And you know what? It's not as big of a deal as some of the coal plants that produce ash and smoke for miles. Um but one of the big problems, if you haven't seen one of these solar arrays out in the desert, so if you're driving from Las Vegas to L.A., I think it's on the 15. Is it on the 15? I don't um, know. On the 15 out, out of uh, Vegas, on your right-hand side, you'll see four massive solar farms. And the thing about solar is that typically you only get about, what, 30 or 35% of actual energy usage from what you're actually absorbing. So it's very little. So what they've done is like in the old James Bond movies is that they pointed all of the solar panels at this station and it, it it's freaky looking. It's actually really cool. But mm. um and what it does is they use steam power so they're reflecting all the light that's not being used by the solar panels into this tower that's creating even more power. Hmm. And it's it's it straight up looks like some crazy like Nazi Germany type stuff, but it, lo it looks cool, too. You're like, whoa. But the problems that they're having is that with all that light reflecting into that tower, it's heating up the air so much that they're having birds literally vaporize oh as Lord. they fly through it. Oh, wow. Like, vaporize. It's so hot. That's crazy. I can't even imagine. So there's dead birds, all like <laughs> oh, dead geez. bird parts. 
yeah, all over these say, solar fields. <laughs> that's not going to go over well with a lot of folks, obviously, for Sorry, obvious Rita. reasons. Well, yeah, and, and maybe it shouldn't. Maybe there, there's got to be things they can do to uh, overcome that. But anyways. Well, I think the birds have wised up. At least you hope yeah, so. Yeah, I would think so. I think they would evolve. Yeah. Right? And they'd start to figure it out. I mean, I'm no bird expert. Not even an animal <laughs> expert. But I would think they would figure it out. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyways, before yeah, let's play the question. Yeah, but before okay. we do, we do want to tell you about DynexDrones.com. That is D-U. I'm sorry, it's not D-U. It's D-Y-N-N-E-X Drones.com forward slash Drone U. Go there. Check out the inventory they have. They've got some great deals on all the drones that you're going to need to get your business going or get your business to the next level. And if you use the coupon code Drone U Save 25 that's all caps, drone you save, and the number 25, you're going to get 25 bucks off your order. Great folks over there. Check them out, dynexdrones.com. Hi, Paul and Rob. My name is Carl. I've been listening to your podcast since the beginning of the Charky Lamb Jerky commercials. My question is, have you heard of Raptor Maps? If so, do you feel it is a good fit for a startup solar farm inspection company? Is there other software similar to that you would recommend. Thank you and have a good one. So Raptor Maps is um, a solution that Rocky Mountain Unmanned Systems, AKA John McBride has been putting out there as a good system. He even had a little webinar on it. And in that <laughs> webinar, they gave out this example of a report from location. It looks like it has been nixed, uh, but this was done in February of this year, 2018. This must be a um, this must be a foreign facility, the Yamamoro One Solar Facility. It's producing 8.71 kilowatts. Uh, and what they did, they said aerial thermography with UAS. The solar facility was inspected with an unmanned aerial system on February 14, 2018, between 10:30 and 11:30 a.m. The camera FLIR 640 by 512 radiometric thermal camera 13 millimeter lens was used for each subsite. Camera heading was maintained. UAS does not turn around for each pass. So, important piece number one if you're doing radiometric thermography mapping, you have to have a radiometric thermal camera. What that means is it's calibrated. If you don't have a radiometric thermal camera, don't even try to map. It's really not worth it. Um, that being said, in their maps, they're trying to showcase cell defects. These typically presents a well-defined hotspot with rectangular geometry. So you're going to see these cell defects as being a little bit brighter, but they also say that you have to look out for shadowing. Shadow casts on modules may result in hotspots, can be due to man-made objects, power lines, fences, or vegetation. Then they talk about diodes, activated bypass diodes. And they talk then about localizing defects. I got to say, Raptor Maps did a really good job on this webinar showcasing to people how their software works and how you're able to pinpoint these multiple issues. So below that, they have a table of all the rows that they had of solar panels and then all the issues that they were having with them. So it's really a breakdown like pass by pass, and it's quite, it's quite fascinating. Now, I have not used Raptor Maps, so I'm just going to throw that out there. I have not used Raptor Maps. You hear that? Okay, cool. I have not done much radiometric thermography mapping. I think I've done it twice. Now, that being said, Pix4D also does radiometric thermography mapping. Pix4D has an entire suite for it. Um, it's something, again, that I have not used. So what I would recommend to him is I would do a trial run with the same set of data in Pix4D and the same set of data in Raptor Maps. You'll have two weeks to use Pix4D for free so you can actually see what you want to use. If you're having trouble getting output files that typically maybe are locked down because you have to buy Call Pix4D, tell them what you're doing, that you want to try it out, you want to see what a particular deliverable looks like because you're comparing their software to Raptor Maps. Raptor Maps may be more convenient with some of the features that they offer, especially their customer service and some of the deliverables that they output. So one of those things, actually, I'm not going to go into it. Well, they're specifically to... created for this purpose, right? Exactly. At this point, mm -hmm. and that's their, that's their mission, essentially. Yep. So... I mean, they, I, I think that their system is good. Again, I just haven't used it. So I can't really say like, oh, it's fantastic. Oh, so good. I, I, I can't say that. So, um, cause I haven't used it, but I will say in my communication with them, 
And in what I've seen with him, I was pretty impressed, to be honest with you. And I had my doubts of going into it. And it was, is an end-to-end solution as far as mm-hmm. this kind of inspection Which works. Which Pix4D is probably going to take more work, but it could output better quality. So we just don't know. Um, because, again, with any software like that, yeah, see, there it is, webinar replay. Right. Any software like that, you got to question, okay, what's the quality that I can output? What type of things uh, can I manipulate? Meaning if I've got a camera with a certain type of, you know, shutter or I want to do geometric matching, you know, different things, do you have those types of features? Mm -hmm. Is that important to what you're doing? Because if Raptor Maps is the system that's end to end and I'm getting deliverables like this to my clients and I'm booking solar inspections every other week and I'm getting paid 10, 15 grand for it, no, that's a no brainer. Yeah, absolutely. So you said to take the two Raptor Maps, Pix40 and compare them. If while he's comparing them, what's he looking for? I think he's looking for the detail and imagery. I think he's looking for mirroring to see if he's got multiple layers of things. I, I'm looking for clarity, um, ease of use, convenience. I mean, I think there's a lot of things to be looking for, frankly. Okay. So Makes sense. On that bombshell, I think that's going to do it for us today. Uh, you can check out Raptor Maps. Just go to raptormaps.com, I believe it is. Let's just make sure. Yep, raptormaps.com. Uh, also check out Pix4D. They do have a thermography um, feature. And yeah, so I think that's going to actually do it for us today. Um, if you have a question, go to Ask Drone You. Please subscribe to the show. Please share it with someone. Please keep writing reviews. In fact, what I'm going to do really quick is I am going to pull up a review and read it because I like reading these. And it means so much to me when you guys write reviews. Like You guys have no idea how much it means to me. So these reviews really help other people find us like reviews are the secret sauce and they help us learn they do help us how learn. to get better they do ratings and reviews okay let's do most recent okay great information very informative the co- the they cover topics that i haven't even thought about to come up with a question is almost impossible because of all, of the amount of podcasts they've done, they've answered so much and very excited to hear future podcasts. Someone else, uh, Brad, said, I love the quick, concise, and highly uh, informational format. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Anyway, all right, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Uh, my name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Ask Drone You.